hey guys welcome to my youtube channel and in this video also uh, this is the 8th video of this segment which is vmware and in this video i'm talking about you know virtualization layer and this is the second uh, video of virtualization layer basically there are three layers in this uh, vmware or uh, virtualization one is virtualization layer itself and the second one is management layer and third one is interface layer so i'm talking about here what are the host what do you mean by host what do you mean by clusters and what do you mean by resource pool if you are talking about virtual data center architecture in my previous video which is uh, seventh and that i have explained about what is virtual data center architecture and that will be something like host cluster and resource pool so in this in detail little bit detail what exactly it is okay so i hope this video will be informative if you feel it is informative please don't forget to hit like button share button and comment so guys uh, let me begin with this first of all uh, let me take a highlighter so host clusters and resource pools provide flexible and dynamic way to organize and aggregated computing and memory resources in the virtual environment and link them back to the underlying physical resources this is the basic you know use of host clusters and resources pool how because a host represents the aggregate resources of physical 32 bit server if the physical server a 32 bit server has four dual core cpu running at 4 gigahertz each and 32 uh, 32 gb of ram the host has 32 gigahertz of computing power because it got four dual core here so if you into if you if you you know multiply it four into 2 into 4 once again so it will be 32 bit so this will be your cpu power of your 32 bit server okay uh, computing power basically gigahertz and you will have 32 gb of memory available for running virtual machines that are assigned to it so you got one physical server and like this this will be computing power and how you should calculate and that will be calculated next thing so that is what we call host now what is cluster so guys a cluster acts and can be managed as single entity okay it represents the aggregated uh, aggregate computing and memory resource of a group of physical 32 bit servers sharing the same network and storage arrays for example let me give you one example here if the group contains eight servers with for dual core CPU each running at 4 gigahertz and 32 GB RAM so the cluster has aggregated 256 gigahertz of computing power and uh, 256 GB of memory available for running virtual machine so this is called complete cluster now what is resource pool so resource pool are partition of computing and memory resources from single host or cluster now you got one uh, one cluster here okay uh, what i spoke in previous slide like this this is a cluster now you are making partition as per the requirement here that is called resource pool basically resource pool can be hierarchical and nested you can partition any resource pool into smaller resource pools to divide and assign resource to different groups or for different purposes so that is the concept of how you can you know how your host server will act how you can create uh, clusters and how you can create resource pool you got one server you aggregated all the resources you created one uh, cluster and now you are making partition of that cluster or that host as per the requirement for a small small projects that is called resource pool example of using resource pool here okay three servers or oh, you got three servers three 32 bit server with 4 gigahertz computing power and 16 gb of memory each are aggregated to form cluster of 12 gigahertz computing power and 48 gb of memory now the finance department resource pool 
This is 8 gigahertz of computing power and 32 GB of memory from the cluster. So you got one cluster. In that cluster, you have uh, 12 gigahertz computing power and 48 GB of RAM. So this finance department took 8 gigahertz of computing power from this 12 and 32 GB of RAM. Now the remaining 4 GB, uh, 4 gigahertz uh, computing power and 16 GB out of this 48 are reserved for the other virtual machine. So how you can use resource pool? From the finance department pool, what will happen now? The smaller nested accounting resource pool reserve 4 gigahertz computing power and 16 GB of memory in the finance department resource pool for the virtual machine from accounting department. Again, you can you can take from that finance department from this 8 gigahertz for another uh, department if you want. Okay, you can take four. So you will have four 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 gigahertz for finance department, four gigahertz for accounting department. Now uh, that leaves four gigahertz of computing power and 16 GB of memory for virtual machine called payroll. So this is how you are uh, you are creating uh, multiple pools here, resource pool from that cluster. This is example here. See, you got one, uh, three server here. Server 1, server 2, server 3. This is your physical. Now you virtually divided, created one cluster and again you go, got, you know, uh, like this is your cluster, complete cluster. Here, inside that cluster, each and everything. You got 8 uh, gigahertz. 32 GB RAM inside this this one this is a single entity entity again you got your resource pool for accounting VM VM 4 uh, gigahertz 16 GB RAM now you got payroll here and this is for other so this is a very uh, small example how you can utilize your resources by creating pools and clusters and if you talk about little more you can dynamically change resource allocation policies. For example, at year end, okay, the workload of accounting increases and which requires an increase in accounting resource pool reserve of 4 gigahertz and uh, from 4 to 6 they want now. You can make the changes to the resource pool dynamically without setting down the associate virtual machine. So this facility is also, the service is also available here without setting down, without any downtime. You can make adjustment as per the requirement at any time from that pool. So guys, in this video, this much information only. I hope uh, your concepts about what is host, what is cluster and what is resource pool will be clear. And if you want uh, more updated videos, don't forget to subscribe channel. And in next video, I will be talking about distributed services, VMware, VSphere, distributed service. What are the distributed services? So till then, bye bye.